Tesla just finished probably their craziest event that they've ever had where they launched and revealed a brand new prototype for their driverless robo taxi plus a robo van and they had real humanoid robots walking around talking to us mere humans let's talk about what this means for the future of tesla as a company and more importantly the future of tesla for us owners who actually own the vehicles and why tesla is no longer a car company if you ever thought they were and why i'm a little bit sad about that let's talk about it a wise person once said the truth usually lies in the middle between two extremes and after tesla's we robot event there are people who are at one extreme saying that was the most ridiculous thing i've ever heard elon's just rambling and telling things that we've already been promised in the past nothing new it's all gimmick and then you have people on the other side of the spectrum saying that was the most impressive event i've ever seen the future is here tesla is on the cusp of changing the world with their artificial intelligence and their robots and their autonomous driving so a quick recap of this event this was held in burbank california at warner brothers studio so it's a closed environment and they had a bunch of different driverless robo taxi cars and current model y's driving around without anybody in the driver's seat and this cyber cab robo taxi concept is is not anything new we've known about this for years but the working prototype is finally here and they revealed it and people got to ride in it and to be honest i love the style of this new robo taxi it's a two-seater it is completely driverless no steering wheel so no option for you to drive the car it's supposed to drive itself it has two butterfly doors that open vertically there are no pedals there's no rear window there's a huge 20.5 inch touchscreen display and that is it other than a couple of cup holders it has front and rear light bars it's supposed to have wireless autonomous charging no charge port door found on the car and it's supposed to start under thirty thousand dollars with production starting in about two years in my opinion i don't think that's going to happen i think we're a while from from this now based on the rides that i saw this is just very similar to what fsd supervised is right now in my vehicle i have a six-year-old model three that can do basically what these cars did last night they drove around a little bit but you know i've been using full self-driving for years on my model 3 and it's gotten really impressive and elon said that next year they're going to be testing out full self-driving unsupervised in texas and california with model 3s and model y's that is funny because that's what we were expecting all this time i mean eight years ago he said that this is going to be something that you can buy and use and rent out hopefully to make more money and that's been the plan all along however it hasn't been the plan to buy another vehicle we have over uh, 2 million tesla vehicles registered in the us and all of them were supposed to be compatible or support full self-driving is that the cars currently being produced or the hardware currently being produced is capable of full self-driving i think the most profound thing is that if you buy a Tesla today, I believe you are buying an appreciating asset, not a depreciating asset. But now, based on some of the comments that we saw in the event last night, he said all of the vehicles, Tesla vehicles that we make today will support the full self-driving unsupervised. He didn't mention anything about previous vehicles, and the majority of the Tesla vehicles on the road today are previous vehicles with hardware three or prior. And that's the question here. Why is a new robo taxi being developed when we should be making all the current Teslas supporting the new completely autonomous, full self-driving, unsupervised? That's what we paid for and we've been waiting. As much as I love the progress being made, it's gotten very impressive over the past couple of years. We're still not there yet. And instead of putting money and focus on fun products, I mean, this is these are really cool, but all this was supposed to apply to the millions of vehicles that are already on the road today. No need to buy a new robo taxi. Elon even said like the hardest part is going through production hell. You don't, you don't even have to produce, you know, if you're Tesla, you don't have to go through this process of producing and selling a driverless car, which is going to be super hard to sell a lot of people on. Trust me. Imagine if Tesla was able to actually deliver on the promise of full self-driving unsupervised to all the current Teslas on the road, or at least the majority of them with hardware three and later, and instantly, you know, with the click of a button, with a software update, millions of Tesla vehicles could do this or have this capability. That's way easier than doing, going this route. But here's my theory on this, and this is why I think they did this. 
Now, just like with the current Tesla vehicles, the new RoboTaxi will have an interior camera monitoring occupants at all times, and that leads to some privacy concerns. But it's not just Tesla. A recent study from Mozilla claimed that cars in general are the worst product category they've ever reviewed for privacy, and 84% of the research brands share personal data with data brokers. This is why I use today's sponsor, Delete Me, which is a hands-free service that removes personal information that's being sold online. Data brokers work around the clock to crawl the web and collect huge amounts of personal information, such as social security numbers, birthdays, addresses, and more. But luckily, Delete Me makes it quick, easy, and safe to get rid of your personal data online by removing your private information from hundreds of data brokers. After signing up, just submit your personal information for removal from search engines and data broker sites. Then the Delete Me experts find and remove this data on your behalf. Then after seven days, you receive a detailed report and Delete Me continues to remove your personal information on a regular basis. After using Delete Me for the past year, it has removed thousands of listings and saved me over 60 hours. Try it yourself and get 20% off any Delete Me consumer plan by scanning this QR code or visit joindeleteme.com Andy and use promo code Andy at checkout. They didn't mention anything about the most affordable Model 2 uh, compact vehicle that they've referenced in the past. So my theory is like this is going to eventually be the cheap, affordable Tesla. I think in a couple years, maybe they're gonna say, okay, we're still working on the driverless robo-taxi, but here's the steering wheel option of this car. Very bare bones, very minimal, and it's gonna be $29,000. And that's going to serve two purposes. It's going to bring a lot more customers in for with that affordable price, and also prolong the eventuality of full self-driving unsupervised, because I don't think it's gonna happen in the next two years. I do expect this type of prototype to be the more affordable Model 2 in the future with a steering wheel. But here's the thing with Tesla, they usually almost always deliver on what they say they're going to do. If they have an event, you know, with the Model 3, they showed the prototype and they delivered. Uh, with the Model Y, same thing. With the Cybertruck, same thing. It's just a matter of, is that timeline correct? Usually it's going to be later than what they promise. And usually the prices are gonna be more expensive than what they promise or what they say when they first do the reveal. And if you look at Tesla's We Robot page on their website, it says, to create a sustainable future, we must democratize transportation. We do this by making driving more efficient, affordable, and safe. And Tesla has already done those things. They've already made driving more efficient. They've already made it safer. I mean, the Tesla, Teslas are safer than any other car. Now it's just a matter of making it more affordable because I know that there are a lot of people who have a budget for under $20,000 to buy a car and they need that more affordable option, but there already is a, uh, that option. It's called a used Tesla, and you can get a used Tesla for a couple years old with the EV tax credit. If you uh, qualify for that up to $4,000, I mean, you're talking $10,000, $15,000 car for an incredible value. And of course they announced the Robo Van, which is basically the same thing as the Cyber Cab, it's just bigger. It has lower ground clearance, so I would hate to, to be a Robo Van and come face to face with a speed bump, but that's still a very, very far uh, out in my opinion. So. That's just something, a fun little thing that they probably wanted to, to build more hype out. I don't expect to see anything regarding the RoboVan for years. But the big takeaway from this event was the Optimus humanoid robot, which they showcased. And this is the first time that they had multiple robots interacting with strangers, with humans. This has garnered so much attention because we don't know if Optimus was controlled by humans remotely. Were they human assisted? A lot of people are saying, yes, they were operated by humans. Some people are saying, no, it's completely all artificial intelligence. These robots were make bartending, they were making drinks, they were joking, they were dancing, they were interacting and talking back with humans. And I will say, you know, whether or not it's, they were operated remotely from humans or if it's not completely AI, it doesn't really matter at this point. Just the fact that people are confused and not really sure if it's completely AI or if they're, operated by humans, that just shows me that it is that impressive that people don't know. Even if the robots were assisted by humans, just the fluidity uh, and the actuators and the degree of motion for these humanoid robots was very impressive. With the five fingers and the movement, like they're not really comparable to anything that we've seen before in, in as far as like robots. Uh, we, all, we all know we have robot vacuums and robot lawnmowers and we've never really seen like humanoid robots. So this is gonna be a very interesting product to see come to fruition. In my opinion, this is where Tesla is no longer a car company. They focus so much on artificial intelligence and autonomy. Elon even said they think the humanoid robot is gonna be their most significant product ever and their best selling product ever. Don't get me wrong, this is very impressive. 
and the future is going to include humanoid robots. But this is an, a, a rich person's toy. This is very expensive. They estimate twenty dollars to $30,000, probably more expensive than that when it finally comes out. At the end of the day, this Tesla event was awesome to see the, all the hard work be put on display in real life for the, the, the humanoid robots and the Cybercab as well. But here's what I think as a customer and a Tesla owner and a Tesla fan. As much as I love Tesla's emphasis on the future, I hope they don't ignore the present because there are millions of Tesla owners right now that we're not even thinking about robo taxi or robo vans or, or optimist ro robots, humanoid robots. We're thinking about expanding and improving their service centers, expanding their supercharger network, which they have been doing that. That is something that could always be constantly improving and expanding and also delivering on what they promised to current buyers of full self-driving and getting the current models of hardware three compatible and being able to support full self-driving unsupervised because that is going to be the most important and most impactful way going forward. If they really truly do want a sustainable future of transportation, that is the way to do it because there are already millions of Tesla vehicles out ready to do this right now instead of having to wait, going through production hell, selling all the cars, waiting for people to buy them. And hopefully someday we will see these robo taxis and robo vans come to fruition, be on the roads. That would be awesome. But right now I think they're, they're jumping the gun. They're looking too far ahead. This was obviously like a hype party event, but right now there are a lot more things that we could focus on in the present and the current state of Tesla vehicles and focus more on the vehicles right now than AI in the future. So those are all my thoughts on the Tesla robot event that just happened. What are your thoughts? Did this change your mind about Tesla in any way? Are you excited to see what's coming next? Thank you so much for watching. My name is Andy. And I'll talk to you in the next one.